On the island of Sodor, there are many different railways. The main railway on the island is the Standard Gauge Railway, where engines such as Gordon live. Then there's the Minimum Gauge Railway with engines like Mike, Bert, and Frank. But probably the railway that nobody wants to go to because they'd have to deal with a, with a grumpy little engine is the Narrow Gauge Railway with Duncan. Gordon is one of the engines who has to deal with Duncan because his express usually ends up going to Duncan to the Narrow Gauge Railway. One day... Gordon came to the Narrow Gauge Railway Station. Oh, he said, now I have to deal with Duncan. He hated Duncan. He and Duncan had always had a big rivalry between the two of them. Ah, look who it is. The person who no one likes. Huh. <laughs> You regret saying that. Just give me your passengers and then I'll leave. So all the passengers got out of Gordon's coaches and hopped into Duncan's. And Duncan chuffed away. The narrow gauge railway was smaller than the standard gauge railway, but bigger than the minimum gauge. The railway is best known for having to deal with mountainous terrain. But today, Gordon was ill, and Henry was busy with other jobs. So James was the only one available to pull the express. I feel so alive, he said. I haven't pulled the express in many years. But he soon arrived at the junction where he would have to meet Duncan. Oh no, said James. Oh no, now I have to deal with James Duncan. Hello, James. Haven't seen you in many years. Haven't seen you in many either. So how's life been for you, my narrow-gauge friend? It's been pretty little, James. Ha 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 ha. That's very funny. Alright, uh, mm-hmm. Just get your passengers and go. Oh, okay, James. I see how it is. Now, I'll see you later. But Duncan, being Duncan, loved to sway back and forth from and side to side. when he came side. to where the standard gauge and narrow tracks meet, he derailed and went onto the tracks. The coach had uncoupled, though, and stayed on the narrow gauge tracks. But Duncan was helplessly on the standard gauge rails. Help! Help! He said. But James, being James, wasn't paying attention to where he was going. That would be too much work for me, he said. Duncan tried to whistle to make James stop, but James wasn't looking where he was going until the last second when he crashed into Duncan. Ah! Ow! Oh! Ow! Help me, please! Henry was sent as quickly as he could and took the train away. Duncan's main body had been damaged very badly. His chassis had also been completely destroyed, so he was given a new one. Meanwhile, all James needed was a repaint. But to James, him needing a repaint was like a life sentence. Which doesn't make sense, but who cares? Point of the story, James is a moron. Duncan's a moron, but he learns his lesson. And everyone is happy. Do 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 do.